All right, people, I'm gonna do old school single cam uh, uh, install, old uh, Renless Matty install with a little bit fancier equipment. So RSNV, uh, I just got this last night. I don't know why, at like 3 a.m. I woke up, I'm like, oh, it's RSNV, like E-N-V-Y, I get it now, I'm a freaking idiot. So anyway, get this really cool looking little package. You get the nifty little box with like the magnetic ceiling or closed closure and then you get this really kind of kind of cool looking um, black you know bubble wrap envelope so you get some pry tools which i don't need but we'll use them uh, and then the fit and finish on this is really awesome now i've already coated this so i put a coat of uh, crystal serum light let it cure for like 12 14 15 hours something like that and then um, and then i put two coats of uh, g technic exo on it so it's coated and you know sort of trim coated so it should stay nice and black and bead water and all that stuff uh, but we basically have two components you have the wing risers we'll measure them but they're about three inches taller they look very oe like almost you know like the the cnc-ing is pretty freaking awesome i mean it's super sharp uh like you know almost almost like knife sharp here in the in the middle uh, which is really cool to see so there's no imperfections the finish is really freaking perfect so this fits my style now they think these are 990 i think they're a thousand bucks for the set so you know you're getting what you're paying for here and then the uh the fit and finish same thing here you can just feel like the you know, the sharpness of the edges of things is really, really well done. So the tolerances are extremely tight. Uh, these come with the uh, 3M tape already, already installed. Actually, my, I'll show you my factory ones. They already, they never really, they never really um, adhered. Thank you, Bryce. They never really adhered to the paint. So, which is good news is we can pop it right off. And then they have these really awesome instructions so you can watch a video or I don't really, after just looking at the instructions, we don't even really need it. It's pretty simple. Uh, but the instructions are really freaking sweet to show us exactly how to do everything. We really only need a few tools. You need some T30s uh, and some Loctite of some sort, so some Loctite knockoff. Uh, a heat gun is gonna be helpful. Uh, I'm going to be taking photos of this stuff, so I'll have my camera set up, but that's all we're really going to need uh, in order to uh, to change the height of the wing. So let's, uh, I guess I'm going to load this on my cart and then uh, move to the back of the car here. I should have backed the car in, that would have been smarter, but too late now. All right, so let's take the wing off first. I really like to wash the car before I do this kind of stuff, but it's too late now. I've already had the wing off once. We did the detail. I guess the only problem with doing it this way is it's gonna fall on the car. So RSNV is recommending Loctite, but there was pretty clearly no Loctite on here from Porsche. So I guess we'll follow their instructions. Gotta have extra downforce for all this uh, all this driving to the grocery store I'm gonna be doing in this thing. It's a must, must have. So let's take the, let's take the. Gosh, Matt, I came here to help you and you're dropping stuff. Oh, wow. idiot. Take the back ones off first. One of the front ones, I guess they are. There you go. What's light? Okay, step one. Pop these little covers off. Pull this thing off. Then this has some 3M tape on it. So these covers have one, two, three, four little tabs, but should pop right off and they're labeled left and right. Just the right one. Gosh, this is this makes me feel really old school when I'm taking photos of everything. This thing is freaking awesome. We have this in the store and I put a 8.0 bigger battery on it. So you gotta get one of these. We have these in the store, freaking awesome. Obviously you don't wanna push it against the metal, but it's like an extended thumbnail. And I do believe we reused this piece, so 
We want to keep it intact. To see I'm doing the skin wedge, I'm not hitting the metal. I'm just using it like an extended thumbnail where your thumbnail doesn't have to break. Okay, so that's off. So we might be lucky enough that this just kind of peels right off. Me and my track record with this kind of 3M sticky crap is not good. I'm gonna have to break out the Tarex. Let's try our Ulex. I'm gonna get to the bottom of how to pronounce this. They keep saying Koch, but I think it's Cook. So, and they, if you watch the German videos, they call it a bunch of different things. Take a little, little bounty. It smells a lot different than other. It's not like the citrus type. Just what I wanted to do on a Friday morning. Get this adhesive crap all over me. Hate this adhesive crap. Probably don't need to be this particular about it, but I only know one way. I think on the other side we're just gonna leave it. Just stick that thing back on. All right, so now this. The other side popped right off already. I don't like jamming these things underneath here. on pretty well. The other one, not so much. There you go. So before I worry about the adhesive, we're going to take the upright off. So now we got a T30 here, three of them. Those have a little blue Loctite on them. Reuse the weather stripping. There we go. Get those three out. Pull this down. So you can get something holding it. I'm gonna try putting the screw back in. I don't know, look at the other one. There we go. Yeah, see what happened is this threaded insert, that threaded insert started to pull out and wouldn't let us lift it out. No biggie. Darn sprayer broke, but what I want to do is clean this off. I generally prefer to wash the car before doing this kind of stuff, but I didn't. This is Carpo Tarex. What a freaking mess. Just freaking kill me now. Taking my perfectly functioning car and messing it all up with this weird modifications. Getting it all over my freaking hands. fashion eraser. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to just polish this freaking thing. I'm going to polish this, this, and this and recoat it. Let's do the same thing to the other side and make a huge mess. I have 47 towels out. I think I'm just going to 
leave the adhesive on here and stick this piece back in place. I stick it back on there. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna stick it right back on there the way, the way it came. Mm, same thing, same issue. Well, it's a good thing I'm falling on the sword for all of you. GT4 guys, save you some pain. Yeah, same thing. That back insert backs out. We got lucky on this one, it didn't leave as much behind. This stuff really does attack the adhesive. But it makes it really gummy. I'm sure everybody will be talking about an eraser wheel, but I just can never get those things to work right. My buddy Darren Priest uses them all the time. I just don't think I know how to use it properly. On well, that side was certainly a little easier. But we're about to add an extra element that most people aren't going to do. And that is we're going to polish this thing. All right. First, we got to get the coating off of here, and then we got to polish it. The reason I'm using a correcting compound is I'm removing the the coating, the three layers of coating. And then we're going to finish polish it. And then once I put the wing back on, I'll just recoat it. G Technic CSL, two coats of XO. It's Jeff's dream to have a Chick fil A girlfriend. Is that the. Okay. So that's step one. put the wing back on I'll polish all this stuff off camera because I have a scratch on the bumper I want to get rid of I think I don't know what I want to do here this little PXE 80 is pretty uh a decent amount of torque It'll be in a little electric thing okay now we can put the wing back on So there'll be good, good adherence. Let's wipe this down with some CarPro eraser. Getting the leftover polish residue off. Let's take our new upright. There's our height difference. So then we take a little rubber weather shield, weather strip thingy. I guess we gotta run it from the bottom on this one. We'll set this little weather strip. Wait, do we? Do these fit over top? Yeah, they do, right? Yes. No. Wrong one. You said you leave these loose. Yeah. Okay, so let's get our screws. I suggest putting a little Loctite on them. We'll just put a little dab. We don't need a lot. I mean, that's all you really need. Yeah. 
Well, that doesn't work. You got to get the you have to get the weather stripping rubber thing position before you tighten anything down. All right, so we got that lined up. So now we ought to be able to tighten this down. Loose. Why? Uh, I guess. So it just fits on the uh, the edge there. So just kind of set it up like that. Got to stop reading in directions, Bryce. It's no good. No, I saw you go over there and read them. I didn't read them. I was just looking at one, one, one. Yeah. Okay. So, just ate some lunch, and let's put our little covers on. Yeah. So the RSNV faces out, and then I'm gonna grab some some alcohol just to wipe around there so I get this stuck down nicely. Man, that looks really good, really good. Just to make sure we get all the residue off. Fingerprints off of there. Same thing on this side. I think I'm gonna tighten, tighten everything down first before I stick these on. All right, we should be ready for our wing. So these are still somewhat loose. So we're just gonna hold the wing in place. Alyssa's telling me there's monkey bread over there. And they got a... Yeah, oh my gosh. It's like a little individual monkey bread. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, Bryce, you ready to... Moment of truth. Ready to not drop the wing on the car. What's going on here? It goes on the inside, doesn't it? Loose. Yeah. Okay. You leaving it at normal angle of attack? Yeah. You're not cool enough for the. So is it the bottom one? Top one. Top one. So the way to do this is to slide your spacer in. Catch the spacer with your, whatever you want to call it, the, uh, the big screw. And then put a little Loctite on the little screw, and that goes on the outside. And just put a little dab. Ooh, this does look a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah. Spice. Looks a little tougher. See, this is why you keep them loose. Don't, don't listen to that, Bryce. It's you go here getting all mad and angry. Which one did we do? You did the top. Or you should have done the top. Yeah, I did. Maybe. It needs to come down. Those little baby fingers in there. Just prying it apart a little bit. Let the washer drop down in. Try it now. And we're on. Now I can tighten it up. It's actually easier to tighten it when it's up in the air. Six foot pounds, Matt. Don't worry. Got it. Got it. Perfectly calibrated. Certainly taller. It's 
kind of stuff is super fun when it works. Okay, now we can stick our knees down. I don't like logos generally, but that looks freaking good. Good job, RSNB. Really pretty. Wow, that looks freaking awesome. Nice and coated. It's super sharp. Well done. Yeah, that looks better. All right, let's put our side pieces back on and we'll wrap it up. So I think the smart thing to do would be to just leave the sticky crap on here and on the car. See what I'm saying? Just stick it back on there. Save yourself the trouble. It's going to it's going to do well enough. And these are labeled left and right side. Yeah, I'd highly recommend you leave it on the car. Don't take that part off. So now we're going to make a huge mess with this thing. Half an hour to un Take all this red crap. There we go. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Put on a little clip. And we're back. Done. Looks the same. Yeah, that looks good, man. I like that. That's a good move. I almost wish they turn the wing around, you know, where it's facing the other way. Can we can we have a modification to flip it around? Now it's right for a big sticker right here. It's good. Let me clean up. All right, that's a wrap. As you can see, it looks freaking awesome. Um, I'm really pumped. I uh, never really thought I needed to do a wing adjustment on the car until RSNV sent me a, a DM saying, hey, you need these. And I said, oh, okay, let's do it. And, uh, and so now we got them. And um, yeah, I mean, I'd highly, highly recommend these. They're freaking great. Uh, and um, a couple of things I think you'll want uh, for the install, you're gonna need some Loctite. If you want some IPA, get a bottle of Tarex from my store. Um, I mean, I guess Carpro Eraser probably not really necessary. You want some you know, shop towels, paper towels. And then this was super helpful to have the, you know, the aircraft skin wedge tool. You know, which is a metal tool. You just want to be careful that you, you know, you don't contact paint with this. But this was super helpful in pulling off all the adhesive stuff. And then again, where I differ in the directions is, I wouldn't don't take the adhesive off of those side pieces. Just uh, leave that, leave it on both sides that we can stick it back together. Uh, and it, you know, I felt like it bonded well enough that uh, it's not going anywhere. So um, you shouldn't even need any of the, you know, 3M, this, you know, body molding tape stuff. You shouldn't, you shouldn't need this if you, uh, if you just leave that part on. So yeah, great, great, uh, great little project. Not too difficult to do. You know, if you don't have a camera, it would take a lot less time. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. I'm going to do a write up and have the photos on, uh, on Renlist and we'll put the link to that. To where I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up there, run list the uh, Porsche forum, and uh, yeah, enjoy it. Drive the car and 
Now we've got a little more downforce, I guess. I, to me, it just looks cooler. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, more GT4 stuff coming. Uh, I'm probably going to do later today the uh, radar detector install. Uh, so make sure you check that one out. I'm going to do a Uniden R7. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's all I got. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.